Storytelling is a, a revealing path to recovery. Storytelling is transformational. Storytelling is free. Storytelling is life changing. And I'll be praying same time as I sing this for you that it will help you to heal. Yo! I was always told if somebody comes to ask you to to help them, whatever that is, but if you're in that spiritual way, it's usually ask you to pray for them or help them some way, then that gift is what I carry. Ironically, I have a have a daughter that uh, was abused, <clears throat> sexually abused, and I was kind of thinking, well, why am I asked to be, to be involved with this? And uh, my partner had told me, well, maybe it's your daughter. And uh, ka-ching, that kind of just hit home, and I'm thinking, okay. And so ever since she had told me that, I, it felt more of a connection uh, one of the ways that participating in the survivor's healing journey was that it actually gave me some clarity around the event that happened to me. I had really distanced myself from it. Doing this, it actually helped me tap into uh, some spiritual healing that had not occurred previously. And I think the biggest takeaway for me was when someone during the project asked me, what does telling your story do for you? And it made me recognize that there was a lot of resiliency in my story that I had not yet brought out. It gave me insight into a lot of things that I now want to dive into with my therapist. And it brought up a lot of things that I didn't think were a big deal, but I'm realizing have had a major impact on my life. And so it's given me this new opportunity to explore aspects of my personality and my character and kind of my behaviors and how what happened is affecting me so. Storytelling to me means telling someone's truth. One of the things I do when a survivor discloses to me is I thank them for telling me their story. Because to me, that is their truth. That is their story and no one else should tell it. And it is a way of healing and it's a way of either beginning your journey or staying on your journey, you know, of, of going past what has happened to you. And, and it's, to me, it is so important, you know, to be able to tell your story and to tell your story in a way that uplifts you and releases you. My story is one of high volume abuse and body memories. And for many years, I carried around this thought in my head that if all that stuff really happened to me, I'd be crazy. And since I'm not crazy, it never happened to me. And that stayed on my sideline, which kept me from telling people a story because I was absolutely convinced that people would reject whatever it was I said. For me personally, telling the whole story has been extremely, extremely important. And, and I have a whole lot of renewed energy about recovery that I didn't have before. I had gone most of my life saying that number one, I would never tell anybody um, what happened to me. And um, to be able to work and to build my story over that period of time was a tremendous amount of personal growth that at the end, when I finally did tell my story to large groups, I felt like I had strength that I had never felt before. It was truly an honor to be part of the Survivors Healing Journeys Project. To be able to collaborate with another social justice organization, Men Healing and Men Story Project, for us as organizations who focus on men and masculinity, and for the men who are part of this project to allow us to be there with them and help them to tell their stories. We were witness to a sense of brotherhood and formation. We were part of the men finding their voices. We were part of the men being empowered. And I am extremely grateful to each of the 12 presenters who took the leap of faith to join this project I think what these men did of giving public voice to their experiences and making their stories visible was to help bring this topic into the light, to help others know that they're not alone and that healing is possible. And the impact it had on me to work with this group of men 
was uh, quite something. I was really so struck by how they worked with their stories when they held the truth of what happened to them. I just keep thinking about how one day somebody is going to see this one person's message and it's going to make all the difference in the world. That is beautiful. It was actually very profound. You know, the first, well, actually all of them, my husband was listening with me and he's a survivor. And I remember after the first one, he's like, oh my God, that was so powerful. And we started talking about his story. And so it actually, I could see it in my own home, making an impact on other survivors' lives. One of the first impressions that I had when I joined our first, I, literally the first meeting is I realized this is the, the sense of camaraderie that I was looking for, even though I, have, I haven't looked, I haven't known any of these people, and that was the first time I was meeting everyone, but there was a, such a sense of community with this group of people. And I felt there was a sense of support, there was a sense of compassion, uh, there was a sense of warmth, and that was incredible. Um, even that was so evident um, in, in, in those first meetings that we had. You know, when I think about my experiences and my life and the abuse that happened to me. Now, directly after thinking about it or in the middle of it, I think about our group and I think about all of us and my mind shifts a bit and it doesn't take me down that rabbit hole as far because I stop and I think, hey, I have all these friends now and I have all these, these men that I went through this process with and, and I'm not alone in this. And it redirects my train of thought and really helps me to kind of get out of that negative space. One of the components of the Survivor Project that that is going to sound a bit strange, but we actually had a lot of fun. Um, there was laughing, um, there was crying, um, there was, um, you know, uh, looks of fear and um, looks of despair and pain but we had a lot of fun and um, each week I walked away a different person and for that I know this experience was not just something like oh I went there to learn how to tell my story it was actually transformational as we went through the project and for that I'm grateful. The authenticity of the staff's concern about me and what I was doing was so clear and and it made such a difference in terms of getting over hard spots and being able to keep that positive sense of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So instead of turning to hiding some of it, I felt much more tell the story, tell the whole story. Your story matters. Your story matters. Your story matters. Your story matters.